right? Again, I, I've never become so, I've only become obsessed of two or three things in this way. Meditation, fitness, and you. Oh. You, right? Yeah. No, but um, like fitness, right? You start getting into it, you start looking up everything and yeah. every little thing. Yeah. I had the same experience and then some with learning about meditation. Yeah. Right. So like on that, like what I started doing was, um, yeah. So with like the guy, the guided meditation you talked about, a, a similar practice, every time I noticed myself thinking, I would just count. I was like, oh, thought twice now. Cool. Mm. It, and then you just yeah. keep going. Another thought, three. Like, and you just count. Yeah. And so, beauty. how do you feel like that helped your thoughts when you're not meditating, or helps? Yeah, I think it's. I do. I do think it slows down the monkey brain for the rest. Monkey brain for the rest of the monkey day. Monkey brain. That's what they call. That's that's the term in Buddhism. The monkey. Oh. The monkey brain. It's all of these thoughts just. Just swinging around. Just swinging around, right? Okay. Oh yeah. During this time, I also got super into this philosopher named Alan Watts. People in the comment section might know about him. Alan Watts. I'll show it. Okay. Yeah, he, he became a big part of my life. So yeah, What's I should, his should. like thesis. What's his like thing? If you had to give a one sentence summary. Stop trying so hard. Mm. Is like the point he mm -hmm. was making. Yeah. Like, don't try. Yeah. Just just be. Right. And and, and the, the, so I've shared with you that analogy of you don't you don't clean muddy water by trying to clean it. Yeah, right? I love that. If you just keep mixing it, it stays dirty. Just, yeah. just let it set. Like sometimes the right action is in action. Is no action. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And and I and I think meditation gives you like a practical way to just be like, I'm I, I'm paranoid right now, but action actually might be the yeah. wrong thing. So I'll just feel this. Yeah, right? yeah. That's what a big lesson. And I've, I've shared this a little bit before with that I've talked about with my sister. Um, so she, just for people who don't know, she has really bad hip joints. So she had to have this insane hip surgery on both of her hips. They can only do one at a time. So she had one, one year, literally spent the whole year recovering to have another one the next year. And she's just kind of getting her recovery mm -hmm. to there. But it still is like an issue for her. But it's really painful. I feel like I'm kind of blurry. I need to scoot up. <laughs> oh, it's probably because um, I'm, I'm leaning in. Yeah. But it's really painful, really difficult. Like, it's harder than a hip replacement. She's like, I'm jealous of people who get to just do a hip replacement because her surgery is called PAO, I think. Um, I can't remember what that stands for, but, and I can't even really remember what they do, but something with like, they want to keep her hip, her bone as much as long as they possibly can. So they have to like shave it and stuff. And so it's really painful. Sure really really difficult and it was incredibly hard for her and just going through it one of the things that her and i talked about once that was uh meant a lot to me was just the idea that pain demands to be felt yeah and how that can apply to all types of pain physical pain emotional pain anxiety yeah that it has to be felt and if you're going to ignore it and try to not feel it and numb it. it's going yeah. to come out somewhere else you have to feel it one way or the other so so might example, as well do it now and might as well yeah. do that so like for example you know if she's if you're dealing with depression or anxiety or something because of some sort of heartbreak you get some sort of maybe at your job maybe from a relationship you get heartbroken somehow you're gonna feel it and if you try to not feel it you're gonna feel it somewhere else like if you try and you know drink your way out of it you're gonna feel it through a drinking problem you're gonna feel it through ruining other relations like you're gonna feel it somewhere yeah it has to be felt and so yeah just kind of accepting that pain and just letting it be felt mm -hmm. is like the best way yeah. you know is just getting yeah like our daughter says with the bear hunt song can't go over it yeah can't go under that's it. hilarious you gotta go through it way to bring it in way to <laughs> bring it in there's this song if people know there's a song called going on a bear hunt and she sings it all day all long. the all the time and is you can't go over it that's pretty that's it. actually you gotta go through it that's actually <laughs> fantastic yeah no exactly and so that's the thing like with with med with when you're actually practicing right yeah, yeah you just watch your thoughts as they come so you just mm -hmm. Catch yourself drift and but you don't punish yourself for drifting. Just oh. Yeah. And then an itch starts happening. Just not doing something about it, just mm. feeling it. Like fully. don't itch it. 